हेलो वेलकम वंस अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट वन मोर एक्टिविटी और द सीरीज इन दिस पर्टिकुलर टेलीस्कोप मेकिंग सो नाउ आवर मिरर इज रेडी सो द असेंबली पार्ट व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू डू सो आई एम तुषार पुरोहित वेलकम टू अयुकाज दिस टेलीस्कोप मेकिंग सीरीज सो नाउ आवर मिरर इज एक्चुअली रेडी इट्स डन विद द कोटिंग नाउ the coating is done is a aluminum vacuum coating so my mirror is ready so now the most important thing now how to do the assembly of the telescope for the purpose of assembly we required a, a few ready made parts and you can also design a few parts if you want to make it yourself all right so the initial thing what we generally required so mirror is the primary thing or the most important thing so holding a mirror we require a holder for the particular thing so now you can see this is a 6 inch mirror and this is having a some assembly okay so this assembly is called a mirror cell or a mirror holder okay so that is the one design of the ready made thing if you wanted to reduce the weight then there are the small mirror cell which are available in the market that is done with the plastic okay if you don't want to want to use the plastic then the aluminum mirror cell is also available and in a mirror cell there are the two different parts actually one upper part which will hold your mirror and just below there there is another part which will a base and this base we are going to fit inside the tube and along with this base you will find there is a spring in between which will help us to align a plane of a mirror inside the tube so i am just twisting so now you can see it is a changing a direction and the angle so there are the three screw which you can use and align the plane of the mirror inside the tube okay that is the use of mirror cell either you can do with uh, by a ready made things or you can also design if you wanted to wish to make yourself own things you can use a ply or a wood where you can use them and you can make your own mirror cell with the help of the wooden thing okay apart from the wooden thing now the next part is secondary mirror secondary mirror is generally comes as a oval shape or sometime you can use a rectangle okay so in the same thing as i mentioned a mirror primary mirror required a mirror cell and secondary mirror required spider mount or a secondary holder and the secondary holder either you can use a ready made one or you can make it out or you can design your own thing so this is a ready made mirror cell which will directly fit inside the tube here are the screw which will will fit and in this particular thing a same thing happens in a mirror cell there are the three screw which will help us to align a plane of a primary mirror a same thing in a secondary mirror there are the three screws which will help you to align a plane of secondary mirror okay so you either you can use oval type of the secondary mirror or you can use a rectangular okay so that is up to you or this is a one more design i will show you this other one this is made with a metal it's slightly the height of this spider is longer okay so this particular size from the center of the secondary to the fitting that you have to consider while doing the assembly that is the most important part and in this particular thing there is also a three screw at a corner 
and the central screw which is holding a secondary mirror okay so you can align a plane of the secondary mirror inside the tube that exactly has to be a 45 degree and either you can make your own thing with the help of the metal or you can design in a wooden all right or also or nowadays you can also use a 3d print or a laser cutting for making this particular spider or mirror cell so the choice is yours so whatever you find a convenient the next part after this the next part is this is our focuser okay this will help us to focus the image outside the tube so it is coming and going it's in out so you can adjust this particular thing according to the focal length of the eyepiece okay wherever you get a exact sharp image that is the exact point so with the help of this focuser now even in a focuser in a ready made things these are a different models available in the market so you will find there are the this becomes a slightly longer focal length or the longer height focuser this is a slightly shorter height okay so this height is also important while calculating so whatever the focuser you are using so according to that we can do the assembly of the tube so before doing the assembly we have to buy this or design this focuser or everything for making a proper calculation for the assembly at the same time you will find this particular thing if i can start calculating this is a measuring tape with the help of measuring tape tape if i measure it so this is almost a 6 inch height okay and particularly this this is having a 3 inch either you can use a inches or centimeter so according to your choice so basically this is another but what is the difference between this particular thing okay if you look at this ip size this is having a 1 inch ip and this is a standard size that is a 1 and quarter inch okay so this ip is generally available in a market or you can also use a 1 inch ip which is comes or the juice in a microscope so according to the size of the ip the focuser will also change <coughs> okay so focuser will also change and up after this focuser then there are the different type of the ips so ips also comes with a smallest or the lowest cost it goes to the uh, higher level so a b c d or different type of the grade of the ips are available in the market so according to your budget you can buy them the best generally people use that is a plosal eyepiece for the purpose of the best observation of the sky so after this the one more thing is remaining okay so with the help of this all parts you can do the assembly of the tube but one more thing is required while doing a sky observation that is we call it as a gun sight view finder or a find a scope so this is a ready made thing that is a find a scope this is actually a small telescope okay in a front there is a lens behind there is a eyepiece so this small telescope will also focus a particular object but magnification of our main telescope will be a higher so it's very difficult to find out the object in the sky so this particular small telescope will help us to find out the best observation or the best object in our main telescope 
and it is having a very low power magnification. This particular viewfinder, the specification is 6 by 30. So magnification is a 6x and the diameter of the front lens is a 30 millimeter. So you will get a different type of the viewfinder. It's a 6 by 30, 5 by 24. If you are using like 8 inch telescope, so generally the bigger telescope required a bigger aperture viewfinder, it becomes easier. So you can use a 8 by 50. All right. And if you wanted to use a different type of the or the different design for your telescope, you can also make a viewfinder with the help of the lens and the eyepiece. This is a one more small viewfinder. All right. So this is, I think, uh, 6 by 24, this particular thing. And this are the most important part. Okay. So generally what happened while observing a sky, all the stars is appearing as a pinpoint. So wherever you are focusing, you will find there are the stars which are visible. But locating a exact star or a planet, this viewfinder will help us. Okay. In this particular viewfinder, you will find there is a crosswire. So you have to align and you can go for the observation with the help of this. After doing this, the most important part, while calculating our assembly of the tube, one more thing you have to remember. Okay, when I'm fixing all these parts, I have calculated this is having a 6 inch or 150 milli uh, centimeter. Okay, then the next important part that is that you have to subtract, but a uh, mirror cell distance you have to add. So you can also calculate what is the height of your mirror cell. So now this my particular mirror cell is showing me the height is uh, 2 inches or uh, 50 millimeter or 5 centimeter. So while doing this calculation or the best idea first do all this calculation on a paper and then start a drilling. For purpose of drilling a holes, what you require a drill machine, measuring tape, screwdrivers and the most important that is a pencil or a marker which will help us. So generally the idea is you have to start calculating from the one side where I am going to fix my focuser first and the, from the focuser level, I will start calculating the focal length and wherever it will end, my mirror cell will be a fit inside the tube. So it becomes easier to align the thing. All right. So now this is my exact focal length. So what I am going to do, I am placing a primary mirror here. So that is focusing a light at the end. So this is my primary mirror that is focusing a light. Now the most important thing what I have to calculate, I have to calculate. So the first important thing I will calculate what is the height of this focuser. Okay, either I can use a scale the best I can use a measuring tape. So it is showing me the height is almost 6 inch. Okay. And this other it is showing me around 3 inches. So almost half. So what happened? I am placing this 6 inch focuser from the point where exactly it is the light is focusing. Okay, so that much distance will cut by the focuser. Now because of radius of tube. Okay, so when we are going to adjust this particular thing inside the tube, 
I have calculated upper top that is a focuser height. Okay, so this focuser height we have calculated, but now this distance that is the radius of the tube that we can add. So this is my 5 inch mirror and I am using a 140 millimeter telescope tube. So it will give me the 7 centimeter. So while doing a 7 centimeter, what I will do when I am putting this my focuser at this point from the this distance, now I will add a 7 centimeter. Okay. So, this much distance I will bend. So, now this is the point where my secondary or the center of the secondary will appear. So, this much distance I have to bend it in a 90 degree. So, if I do like this, then this particular point where my secondary mirror will come. Okay. So, I will keep it on the other side. So, now you can easily understand. So, this distance, okay. So, this distance is your secondary reflected by the secondary. So, the light is coming from the primary, the secondary will reflect and it will directly go into the focuser where we are going to add or adjust the eyepiece. So, this distance we have added or calculated, but if I reduce this height, okay, instead of using this 6 inch, if I am using this particular other focuser which is having a distance of 7 centimeter or, or the 3 inches. So, if I add this thing with the help of my radius of the tube, if I add the 3 inches, then the almost the difference of 3 inches. So, the my secondary will come at this point. So, you will find instead of bending here, now I am bending slightly back. So, my secondary size is almost changed. This is the major axis of the secondary. So, you with the help of this paper thing, you can also calculate what is the size of your secondary is required. So, it becomes extremely easy to observe or make this thing. Okay. So, once I bend this, my focuser will come here, my light will, this light will come to the point or the edge. Then the next, just below here, my secondary will come. Okay. So, my assembly will be like this. So, I can adjust the thing, my secondary, focuser, secondary and end of the thing that is my primary. So, what I will do instead of calculating from the back side of the tube, I will start calculating or start drilling my points from the front of the tube. So, while doing this thing, keep in mind, I am keeping a some buffer distance before the secondary. So, while doing this thing, I can take either 3 inch or 4 inches or uh, you can say 7 centimeter or uh, 10 centimeter distance I will left over. Then first what I will do, I will drill a hole for focuser. At exactly below the focuser, my secondary should be appear like this. should be appear like this. The secondary will be exactly below the focuser. Okay. So, that is the idea while doing this thing. 
so first i will drill a hole for my focuser then according to the focuser i will calculate what is the distance okay from my center of secondary to the spider then i will drill that thing that is the one thing after doing this thing what i have got i will get that much distance this is the remaining distance whole thing but that distance is exactly my mirror will come but i cannot do a drilling at the point of the mirror so what i will do while doing this i have added the some extra distance that distance is a mirror cell that is a small but i am using this mirror cell so mirror will be fit on this surface this side and after fitting this this much distance i am adding my drill should be exactly at this point so i will add after remaining this distance i will add the distance of mirror cell or the height of the mirror cell so now my height of the mirror cell is almost 2 inches or you can say 50 cm so after first i have drill for the focuser then the drill for the secondary then the this distance is remaining and within this distance i am adding almost 5 cm extra for fitting my mirror cell so the this distance from this point or the center of the focuser to my mirror cell center or mirror cell drill i can calculate and according to that much distance i will drill a hole for my mirror cell so it becomes a easier so you can adjust a mirror once you have done a slightly bigger hole for the focuser then it's very difficult to adjust a mirror cell okay so you cannot remove this particularly a bigger hole of the focuser so the best thing you can start calculating from this point and it becomes a easy so whatever the mirror will adjust we can place it and whatever the just behind the, the mirror cell whatever the tube is remaining we can adjust that so while doing this thing or the start a drilling what i have done instead of doing exactly the hole of the focuser at this point i have done a slightly below so this distance i have decided as a 3 inches or a 7 cm so that distance is a 7 cm then from this point to my end of the mirror cell that distance i will calculate and according to that i will drill a hole now at this point you will find my mirror cell hole is there okay so this much distance and slightly there is a buffer at a below also or not top also so it becomes a easier so keep in mind so whenever you are deciding a complete tube length so almost a tube length should be equal to your focal length of mirror so it becomes easy to align everything okay let's start for a drilling so i will start uh, doing a assembly so on this particular pvc pipe i have calculated this is a 3 inch distance okay on a 3 inch distance i have drilled my first basic focuser hole with the help of this hole saw so it will directly cut the exact diameter for the focuser what you required okay once i have done this hole from this point i have to calculate where my mirror cell drill will come so now my next thing or the important thing that is i am fixing a focuser here okay so this is 
this distance of the focuser or the focuser height that is a 6 inches ok and the radius of the tube is almost 7 centimeter we will so consider as a 3 inches. So, 6 inches plus this radius is a 9 inches and my this primary mirror focal length is a 40 inches. So, I am reducing a distance that is 6 inch distance for the focuser radius of the tube is a 3 inches so 9 inches so 40 minus 9 that is 31 inches from this point my mirror should be well come here inside the tube at the distance of 31 inches but the center of the mirror will come on a 31 inches so because of the height of the this mirror cell now I will add this particular height of the mirror cell in a 31 inches this distance if I am using this particular uh, mirror cell then the height of the mirror cell is almost one and half inch and if I am using this particular mirror cell then my height is almost two inches. So 31 plus one and half inch or I will consider as a two inches. So 31 plus 2 that is a 33. So, I have calculated this distance from the one point this is 3 inches plus 33 inches. So, my mirror cell drill will come close to the 36 inches. So, now you can easily notice I have done or drill the hole close to the 36 inches ok. Once you have done the drilling ok for the purpose of drilling use a smaller drill bits for the basic thing and according to your size of the screw you can drill the holes exactly matching and then once you have done the next part after doing this thing or drilling from the inside of the tube you have to paint with a matte black color either you can paint it or the other thing if you do not get the pen then you can use a black color chart paper you can paste it from the inside ok that is another tricky job to do but that is important. So, once we do the black coating from the inside it avoid basically the internal reflection of the light to avoid in this particular thing. So, that is the important part. Once we have done a drilling part now the next part according to the drill we will start doing the assembly ok. So, we will start the thing the first important thing I have placed the mirror on a mirror cell it is a completely pasted and dry a secondary mirror is also placed and fix on the this spider or secondary holder. Now I will just assemble everything inside the tube. So carry on we will assemble the everything. <coughs> 